Integrity, hardworking, personable, are just some of the words used to describe the Right Honorable Don Mazinkowski. He's an exceptional individual and was an exceptional parliamentarian as well. His role in Ottawa is well known. His achievements are, have been pointed out time and time again. Uh, he uh, left Ottawa after 25 or 30 years with no enemies, just like me. Exactly. <laughs> Even if he was on the other side of the, of the aisle, for me, I always considered him as a very good friend. He was a very good minister, excellent member of parliament. And I don't think that there are many people like him who were in the house respected and loved by everybody. He was raised in Viking, Alberta, but his early career took him to Vegreville where he crossed paths with Prime Minister Diefenbaker and caught the political bug. In 1968, when Trudeau mania was sweeping the country, Don became the Member of Parliament for Vegreville in a tight race. Soon he was joined in the House by Elmer McKay. My father, to this day, often speaks of those, uh, those early years in Parliament with Don. Uh, I recall Ray and the Titian was also someone who uh, arrived in Parliament and the three of them were a bit like the Three Musketeers in going after the government of the day and uh, very often prompted by John Diefenbaker to uh, uh, get up on their hind legs of the House of Commons and uh, ask some very embarrassing questions for Mr. Trudeau who I understand on occasion would be so angry and frustrated with the three of them that he would have to leave his seat and go out and pace behind the curtains to cool off uh, and then come back and face a further barrage of questions from the three of them. When I arrived on Parliament Hill after the 1972 election, which gave us a minority Liberal government, Don was already one of the bright young stars of the Tory caucus. He was intelligent, he was warm, and he was fair. And that's not easy in the charged atmosphere of minority Parliament. We've seen that so much in recent days. Don was always a straight shooter, the same with the media as with his fellow MPs. He served his constituents for 25 years through the issues and policies that still define Canada today. I sign on behalf of the Government of Canada with pride in our country, faith in our people, and confidence in our future. I had the pleasure of working closely with Maz for over a decade, but particularly during the nine years that he served in government with me in the cabinet. And again, in particular, those years uh, where he served as deputy prime minister and uh, minister of finance, and in fact, as someone said, minister of everything. He was effectively the chief operating officer of the government of Canada. And if uh, things worked well and smoothly, and when they went smoothly, you could be certain that, uh, by and large, this was as a result of Maz's um, application of his famous uh, uh, interpersonal skills to a challenge uh, or a problem. Don combines three qualities which are quite rare. The political and communication skills that a politician needs, the uh, managerial skills that a public administrator needs, all undergirded by personal integrity. Those are three rare characteristics and in Don they were found and are found all in one person. Of course he used those qualifications in his role as the Deputy Prime Minister of Canada. Don retired from politics on June 7, 1993. When he left politics, he didn't ask for a reward. He became a member of the Queen's Imperial Privy Council, a right honourable, an honorific which suits the man but which costs the taxpayers nothing. In 2003, Peter McKay won the leadership of the Progressive Conservative Party and Don was called to help behind the scenes with the merger that would create a new Conservative Party. He's a builder, uh, he reaches out to people, uh, he's somebody that has uh, the human touch. I always remember his positive attitude, always a smile, unbelievable energy. Like he would just come into the room and light everybody up. He felt that you could disagree with par fellow parliamentarians without being disagreeable either 
with them or about them. Great Albertan, great Canadian, uh, somebody who has made our country and our party very strong and for that all Canadians can be extremely grateful. Don Mazikowski, his wife Lorraine and their family really are the embodiment of the Canadian story. Small towns to big dreams to great accomplishments for our nation. Many school students still remember that the Deputy Prime Minister was from Vegreville, Alberta. We salute the Right Honourable Don Mazinkowski.